Hi, so in this video, we will see how to use TestNG for your Selenium test cases. So first thing, open Selenium on your operating system and go to file menu, click on new options and select Java project. Name it test ng demo okay hit next okay choose libraries tab here on your libraries make sure you have most of your libraries listed okay you can add more libraries simply by selecting add external jars now can add selenium into it okay you can also add additional jars simply by going to selenium's lib folder select all of them and open okay so you'll find all the libraries listed here make sure that you have downloaded this from official selenium hq website now that you have everything ready click on finish so that your project gets listed here now we are going to add a new class which is basically going to be test ng class so go to new and then select other here from this wizard select test ng class and now here select class name as sample test Okay, now you can give it package name if you want. You can browse for it or keep it as is. Package name should be, let's say, like test ng demo. Okay, give it before and after method if you want. Create source folder, point it to test ng and src. Okay, now finish it. I'm going to remove annotations because I want to use mine. Okay, so our sample test class is created right here. Okay, now I'm going to remove public void f and instead replace it with sample test. Or you can change this to, let's say, our test name, which is going to be verification of title. So verify title all right now we're going to add our selenium web driver code here so give it web driver driver equals to new chrome driver make sure that you have chrome driver installed or you can simply write firefox driver now type in driver dot get inside this method we are going to type in google.com after that i'm going to create a string name actual and here i'm going to collect driver dot get title so title of that page is stored on this string okay now i'm going to use assert and then call for assert equals make sure that it is for class org testing assert or org test testing assert which is here byte actual and byte expected for for boolean and boolean we can use that as well okay so change this actual to capital A and for expected simply type in Google okay so this is our simple test here I'm going to use org open QA selenium chrome and that should clear our errors okay now I'm going to just make this go a bit up 
so that I can view the output on console. Now hit run. However, for this class being test ng, you have to do it in a different way. So simply go ahead and inside your package select sample test.java file. Right click on it and run as test ng test. Okay, so it shows your test ng test running and it should open instance of Chrome driver. And it should check this title of home page and show you the test result. Let me close this window and here you will find the results of our test. It says test run 1, value 0, skips 0. It also shows you these time taken by each class. Okay, so basically, time in milliseconds is shown here. Okay, so our test verify title is passed. So, in future, I will show you how you can run multiple tests and how you can use test ng effectively in other test scenarios.